On an island in the Canadian Arctic, research scientist David is recording himself as he reads off his notebook about sacrifices and the work that must be done for science. Then the scene switches to a video of a woman crying about a wound on her forehead, and when her friend tries to take it out, a parasitic organism emerges, but it disappears before he can capture it. Then a series of clips portray the current status of the planet. Global warming has grown into a very serious issue, with eco-terrorism occurring on a regular basis. A worldwide epidemic is also slowly spreading over the planet, with scientists believing the illness fled through the ice following the permafrost thaw. Several individuals refer to Mother Nature as the true terrorist, believing that the Bible warned mankind about the negative outcomes a long time ago. This all began some weeks ago. David and his colleagues keep track of a polar bear. They try calming it with a tranquilizer pistol, but as an outcome, the bear gets violent. The huge bear begins begins chasing them, but the tranquilizer eventually works on it, and the polar bear falls asleep. When the group rushes in for a closer look, they are shocked to see the bear eating the remains of an ancient mammoth, which reappeared after the melting of ice. After they transport the bear back to the research station, David contacts his daughter Evelyn and suggests she should come to observe his wonderful discoveries. David then gets to know from the rest of the researchers the news that the bear died unexpectedly, so he rushes for an investigation. Meanwhile, three students from a well-known college, Ling, Federico, and Adam, are chosen to participate in David's research. Two days later, pilot Bart receives a phone call from David, who requests him not to accompany his daughter. David glances towards the mammoth inside the tent that the team has set up in the surrounding area. Jane approaches him and wonders if David is looking for aid or cancelled the student trip. David lies, implying that assistance is on its way but that no student will be there. Jane then explains that everyone on the team, including herself, is feeling sick. A few hours later, Jane is resting in another tent. Her condition is worsening. As the children are about to leave, Bart notices that Evelyn has already arrived. He attempts to stop her, but Evelyn ignores him and climbs into the helicopter. When they travel closer to the Arctic, they are dismayed to realize how little ice remains. They eventually make it to the research center, only to realize that no one is around. The electricity is not available, there is no water supply, and the space is filled with an unbearable smell. Bart rushes to check on the generator as well as the water tank, only to hear someone shooting in the far distance. Adam and Evelyn explore different spaces and enter another particularly nasty one just as Bart recovers power, which alarms them with the bear's rotting remains in the lab. When Bart joins them, he places his arm on it, only later getting bitten by a bug. At the camping area, David starts recording his video. Jane hears the radio and is shocked when she hears Evelyn's voice announcing that she has arrived with the students. Jane hurries to warn David. Then hurriedly, David informs Evelyn that no one should leave the building and declare Declares that he'll be there immediately. Jane questions David about the unexpected occurrences, but he guarantees Jane that everything is fine. Jane shoots David because she no longer trusts him. That night, Evelyn and Adam have trouble falling asleep because they hear a strange noise, but it turns out to be Ling and Federico, who is in the next room. Then it becomes clear that there is a bug in Ling's bedroom, too. Federico then picks up his clothes and spends the night with the others, unwilling to stay in a room with bugs. Evelyn awakened soon when she heard some noise and noticed an auto reaching the building. She takes steps to wake the others up. When Bart scratches his arm, he finds that it is bleeding. Then Evelyn walks outside and discovers an ATV or all-terrain vehicle running with no driver. Next. She checks inside the helicopter and then discovers unconscious Jane inside, causing her to call for help. Adam and Bart rush outdoors, but Federico runs to the other room when he hears Ling screaming. Ling awakened to find many mysterious bruises on her body which appeared to be bug bites. While other people pull Jane inside, Evelyn attempts to get in touch with the location of the camp, but David still remains unconscious outside the tent. Adam and Bart discover Jane is in her final stages after putting her in bed. Then Evelyn notices her father's camera next to Jane, but once she looks into it, she sees no tapes saved in the camera. They all realize that this is a dangerous situation, which means that they should leave. However, while they check the helicopter, they find that Jane has broken the control panel of the helicopter. Concerned, Bart 
Garrett grabs his weapon just in case. Ling suddenly shouts to everybody that Jane's condition is declining, so they rush back to discover her vomiting a strange green liquid. She advises the group not to leave, but prior to explaining the reason for her claim, she begins choking with the goo and then dies suddenly. With the sorrowful moment, Evelyn decides to go in search of her father, and Adam joins her. Meanwhile, Bart struggles to fix the aircraft and can't stop itching the insect bite wound, which progresses worse and more dangerous. Evelyn and Adam arrive at the campsite minutes later. They discover the mammoth in a tent. There's a wound on its body, and Evelyn finds quite a number of eggs inside the wound on the mammoth. The eggs are gently thawing along with the mammoth itself. However, both of them are surprised once they realize the eggs are still alive and moving. They investigate the area for David, just to discover a dead group member behind the tent. They then come across a buried teammate nearby. And because David's body is unable to be seen, Evelyn believes her father has passed away and been buried. Back at the research station, Federico has to relieve himself and is in a lot of being uncomfortable when his urine comes out with blood. Then he checks on Ling, who is shivering uncontrollably and vomiting ill. Then, Federico utilizes the radio to try to reach somebody for help. Ling, too, faces the same experience as Federico. Evelyn enters the locked room, worried about the possibility of infection, and examines Jane's dead body more carefully, discovering a few extremely huge wounds on her stomach. She's seen the wounds hold eggs like the ones that they saw on the mammoth, which will be immediately confirmed when an insect emerges from Jane's eye and hides after it sees the humans. Evelyn thinks that there should be a huge amount of bugs or parasites within Jane, and therefore they are supposed to move her to the lab, which is an entirely distinct structure. The team wraps Jane with the sheets and leaves her inside the lab, where Evelyn utilizes the chance to have a closer look at the bear. Its wound is like likewise filled with eggs. At that point, Federico appears to say that a helicopter is expected to arrive in a few hours to save them, but Evelyn argues they could contact them again and encourage them not to come, given that they would be unprepared. Instead, they could alert disease control and allow them to decide what to do exactly. In fact, Evelyn believes they must all be quarantined. The others freak out and quickly start an argument, so Evelyn runs and locks herself in the radio room. However, before she is able to cancel the helicopter request, Federico rushes in and destroys the radio preventing Evelyn from doing so. Then he says that he is in control till the helicopter arrives. At that point, severely ill Ling comes to them and vomits on the floor. They recognize that it's the same color as Jane choked on, implying Ling doesn't have a lot more time left. The gang takes her to bed, and when they look at her tummy, they discover identical wounds with eggs in them. After shutting down the door, they return to check on the bear and are shocked to see Jane's body wriggling as the bugs emerge. While Adam shuts the lab and Ling's room, Bart becomes overly concerned about his own injury and wishes to stop it before he meets the same fate as Jane. He goes to the kitchen to get a knife to get the eggs out. However, he discovers a bug escaped into his arm, suggesting that he is already completely afflicted. However, it appears that the remaining portion of his body is fine, thus cutting off the arm might be the next best remedy. Evelyn and Adam disagree with the idea, but they're left with no choice but to help him. Meanwhile, in private, Federico investigates his groin and notices bleeding. Sometime later, Adam injects Bart using a tranquil dart to relieve his pain, and Evelyn ties a piece of cloth above his elbow. When Adam is about to cut, Federico arrives and shouts, this isn't right, and then shoots at the ceiling as the knife comes down. Unfortunately, the knife only cuts halfway, so Evelyn takes over and continues chopping until the arm is completely separated. The parasites instantly begin to emerge from the fallen arm, and Adam attempts to kill them using bug spray, but it is unsuccessful, so he sets them on fire. Meanwhile, Bart falls unconscious, and Evelyn urgently tries to stop the bleeding by covering his wound with a towel. She remembers there was a first aid kit on the ATV, so Adam hurried to bring it in. When Evelyn opens the kit, she is surprised to discover David's notepad, which contains a variety of bug drawings. Reading the notes, they understand that the eggs are the main
main issue. These little fellas are also vertebrates, which means they're more similar to humans than bugs. The girl carefully covers her body very well and enters the lab, where she observes the bear's wound is more nastier and has grown worse now. Then she approaches Jane's body and is disgusted to realize that only the skeleton remains. While she is grabbing the camera from the bed linens, bugs start crawling out of the bear and following her, so she dashes out the door. Federico refuses to let her escape because he believes she's covered with bugs, but Adam pushes him and finally opens the door. As soon as Evelyn arrives, Federico grabs his weapon and forces her to undress so they can make sure she is not infected. Evelyn pulls off her clothes, and they notice an insect attempting to enter her wound, but Adam catches it and kills it right on time. Thousands of parasites cover the bear, the walls, and the floor. Ling suddenly knocks on her door since she is also surrounded by parasites. In the lounge, Evelyn and Adam advise Federico to make sure everyone is clean before they go. Federico panics and rushes outside as the others attempt to stop him. When Federico attempts to shoot them, he is unexpectedly shot and killed, showing David behind him with his pistol. Evelyn runs to see her father, and David informs them where they can find the gasoline to ensure that they may fire down the building. Adam and Evelyn start to spread the gasoline throughout the building, seeing that parasites are now creeping into other rooms as well. Evelyn recalls her father telling her not to come, suggesting that he was informed but still allowed other students to make the trip. Wanting responses, she rushes to check out the tapes and is shocked when she finds out what her father meant by sacrifice. David believed that parasites were the best method to ultimately warn people about climate change, so he allowed a parasite to get into his body while ensuring that it remained restricted. Evelyn begs him not to do this, but David grabs the tapes and leaves the building, claiming that only he will leave the island. After locking up the building, David gets into the helicopter that has landed nearby. When the pilot asks if David is infected, he responds, no. Evelyn and Adam grab the notebook and break through a window to escape. Adam manages to hang on the sides of the helicopter as it lifts off, informing the pilot that David is infected. Nevertheless, David claims Adam is the diseased one, and the pilot is unsure who to trust. Adam eventually loses his grip and falls to his death. Becoming anxious, Evelyn takes Federico's handgun and starts shooting at the helicopter, hitting the pilot and causing the helicopter to come crashing into the building, destroying all the parasites. Evelyn takes the notebook and sneaks in Bart's helicopter. The next day, two more helicopters arrive since they became worried after losing contact with the first, and they are able to save Evelyn before she freezes to death. Evelyn's narrative eventually becomes viral, and she becomes known as a hero. Meanwhile, in the countryside, an animal lover fetches his dog, which had been eating on a dead bird. It has been revealed that the bird contains eggs, and the dog is going back with its owner. We really hope you enjoyed today's recap of the movie The Thaw 2009. Please leave a comment below on what you loved about the movie and why. Be sure to like the video, and please don't forget to support our channel by subscribing so you don't miss any amazing content. Until next time, light, camera, action. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.